एंड नाउ पूजे आत्मन श्री स्वामी ज्योतिर्मायन जी कमेंसेस टू नाइट सत्संग विद संस्कृत फीस चैन पूर्णमत पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुद्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमे वावशिष्य ओम शांति 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 we begin with mystic song by shri swami lalitananda played and sung by shri swami umananda and rajneesh our song tonight is called o goddess lakshmi abide in my house Speak to me for my word. 
We are recording from the ashram of our revered Guru Puja Atman Sri Swami Jyotir Mayananji in Miami, Florida. Today is January the 23rd, 2021, Saturday evening, and tonight Swamiji will be conducting a class on concentration and meditation. And now Puja Atman Sri Swami Jyotir Mayananji. Om <laughs> Brahmanandam Param Sukadam. Kevalam Gyan Murtim Dwandwati Tam Gagan Sadrisham Tatamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadhi Sakshi Bhutam Bhavati Tam Trigunaraitam Sadgurum Tam Namam Om Adoration to Sadguru who is Brahman, the giver of supreme bliss embodiment of pure consciousness, one without a second, vast as the ether, infinite, e eternal, beyond the three gunas and their modifications, the supreme preceptor. We begin with concentration exercises on slide projections. And you have before you Lord Hanuman,
in your eyes to a beautiful water lily. This is allowing your heart to be visualized as a water lily. Heart is the seat of all your feelings. And imagine if all the feelings, sentiments, are blessed with God's presence. God's presence is allegorically the shining gold, golden rays from the depths of the water lily. And all the petals are beautiful, velvety, shining. So that's the type of heart you must imagine Closing your eyes and turn your heart into water lily. And all this becomes possible because of God. God is the deepest source, the deepest presence in your heart. Next, open your eyes. Now we are looking at beautiful peacock. Prepare to dance. All the wings spread. And that's the allegorical expression of inner joy. The joy of radiating from the soul within, soul is ananda, absolute bliss. And when that enters your buddhi, your intellect, the intellect set begins to dance. So with that in view, Close your eyes and relax your mind and feel that your mind itself has become the peacock. Enjoying the divine presence. The cloud of grace gathers in the sky and the peacock begins to experience immense thrill. Similarly, your mind is experiencing thrill. All virtuous qualities, they shine through the peacock feathers. Next, open your eyes. Now you are being taken to a great pilgrimage center. This is Lakshman Jula. By the, the Ganges in the Himalayas. By Muni Kireti.
Ganges, the allegorical, allegorical presentation of stream of wisdom, the stream of intuitive vision that sweeps away all obstacles, all impurities, and allows the soul to be realized. Realized soul, Aham Brahma Asmi, Aham Brahma. I am not this body mind, I am the absolute self. And that type of wisdom is, is the Ganges River. And Lakshman Jhula is highlighting the glory of Lakshmana. In Ramayana, Lakshmana is the embodiment of cosmic mind. And he plays the role of Dhyana Yoga, the practice of profound meditation. Meditation on Rama. Meditation on Brahman, and that's associated with Lakshman Jhula. Pilgrims enjoy every day that association with Lakshmana. Lakshmana also highlights cultivation of virtues, all divine virtues, fearlessness, humility, compassion, and all virtues, they begin to shine when you have the grace of Lakshmana. With that, closing your eyes, try to place yourself in that atmosphere by the Ganges. and develop a sensitive feeling that you are enjoying the great privilege of pilgrimage center, sweet breeze enfolding your personality. And Ganges River flows on, washing away all your impurities. And you are being enriched by the presence of countless enlightened sages and saints. All their vibrations are concentrated in this pilgrimage center. Your eyes closed. Now, open your eyes to splendor of this forest light in Amazon forest. And this is symbolic of shower of divine grace. Think of your unconscious, subconscious as a big forest. And grace is pouring through that forest, nourishing your entire personality, your intellect, your ego, your mind, your heart, 
and uh, uh, coming down to physical body. All that you have is being bathed in the light of divine grace. Closing your eyes, enjoy a sense of ecstasy. You are enjoying a shower of grace. Not only you are enjoying, but the entire forest is being bathed in the shower of grace. Sarve bhavantu sukhina. Not only you are striving for your happy, happiness, but for the happiness of all. Next, open your eyes, looking at mountain stream with trees. It's a picture of setting of nature. Allegorically, is a picture of setting of your spiritual personality. Your life flows like the stream bouncing over obstacles, rocks of obstacles. Divine qualities and divine enrichment expresses through the beautiful lush pine trees. Divine wisdom is potential, like the mountains decked with snow. So with that, closing your eyes, try to lose yourself in this beautiful, picturesque setting of nature. There's no place of ugly, for ugliness, for stress, for negativity. Next, open your eyes. A special picturesque setting of the sun. A glimpse into samadhi. Mind stretches out like a vast ocean. Calm shimmering with grace. Just like the sun withdrawing its rays begins to set as if diving into the calm ocean with the splendor of nature. In the same way, Mind with the drawing is the rays of Vishayakara Vrittis, all the thoughts of the world. Mind begins to set 
in the ocean of divine feeling. An awareness of divine presence. And just like when you go to sleep, in deep sleep, all things move away. Here you are going into deep state, all negativity moves away. And you are enfolded by the boundless love of God. And that boundless love explodes in the form of red color. Imagine you are seated by the ocean during a full moon night. And you are practicing a special pranayam while breathing in or focused on listening to the chanting of Om. Ocean itself is chanting Om. And a chorus of Om comes at the surf of the ocean, comes towards you. So while you are breathing in, the chorus is coming closer and closer. Go on breathing deeply and you are enfolded by the vibrations of Om. And there cannot be any sweeter enfoldment ever imagined. And as you begin to breathe out, chorus is receding into the vastness of the ocean. And your heart also pours itself into the vastness. You are communing with the ocean without limitation. So while breathing in, surf comes up and you are enfolded by the chorus of Om. Try to imagine the enfoldment is very profound. Every pore Every cell within your body is being charged with the vibrations of Om. And as you are breathing out, you are diving into the ocean of joy. Om breathing in, Om breathing out.
Now imagine you have turned yourself <coughs> into a beautiful swan. Up in the sky, there is full moon, symbolizing the presence of God as a swan, you want to be united with God. First enjoy the sight of the ocean, shimmering in the light of the moon, that God, whose beauty has spread all over the world. The world is permeated by his glory, and the whole scene has become the ocean, shimmering in the light of the moon. and you begin to fly, to be united with the moon. As you fly, you pass through layers of silvery clouds. And finally, we emerge in the vastness of the blue sky. Your whole project is to enjoy shower of grace. But shower of grace in three stages. For your physical body, for your mind, and for your heart. Begin with physical body. But have a, a profound understanding. View your body as divine temple. and try to impress upon, upon your mind this profound feeling, the profound visualization that you do not have to look for going to a pilgrimage center and visiting a sacred temple. You are right here and now in the sacred temple, temple of all temples, Deho Devala Yoprokto, this body is a divine temple, Jivo Deva Sadashiva, and the soul in you is Supreme Brahman.
healing touch of divine grace is sweeping over your body from the toes to the head. rendering your body healthy. Developing immunity to all negative forces. Next, enjoy a shower of grace for your mind. Follow allegorical setting. Mind is a beautiful lake in the snowy mountains. Stillness of the mind, that's your first focus. in a calm lake in the Himalayan setting. See how the beautiful sky along with the moon and stars reflect in that lake. This glorious vision is obstructed by your constant involvement in the past and in the future. But now, suspend that involvement. Get away from the past. No more future. Calm, here and now. The healing touch of grace is inundating your mind. Every part of your mind. all the miseries of the past are becoming like a myth that never existed. All apprehensions for future move away from your vision. 
here and now. <coughs> This is a divine tonic for treating the, treating the mind, keeping it free from stress. And now imagine a gentle shower of grace has started descending upon the lake of your mind. Now shower of grace for your heart. Your heart is like a beautiful cave. Cave that stores all your memories, all your karmas, But a miracle is happening in that cave. A window opens and a beam of grace, beam of light, which is shower of grace, enters your heart. How cool.
you are experiencing profound fulfillment. <coughs> By divine communion. You have found the object of boundless love in your very heart. <clears throat> That's God within your heart. And you are essentially divine. That's what means communion. Communing with God, like a river communing with the ocean. The river loses its personality. Similarly, as you commune with God, through profound love, This process is called bhakti, devotion. And impress your heart with the glory of prayer. May your heart always yearn to be united with God. And there can be no greater blessing for your heart than this eager aspiration. Now turn to this stage of jnana. The bhakti has paved the way for supreme wisdom. And wisdom is, who am I? The I am awareness. The real I am is not your ego. But try to see a distinction between ego I am and the absolute I am. Ego I am is like a reflected sun in a jar of water, constantly at the mercy of the water, constantly shaking. That ego I am not. I am the eternal I am. I am Satchit Ananda. Try to relieve your heart in, of all burden and troubles in three stages. Sat. I am, if remove from your heart, fear of mortality. And that gives you profound fulfillment. 
the experience of Sat. It is for that experience you come to Sat Sangha. Death doesn't exist. I'm absolute existence. I am the non-dual self. I am pure awareness. Awareness is like light. As a reflected sun, the light that you have is limited. It's only concerned with the jar and limited surroundings. And light is constantly in a state of turmoil. That awareness moves away. You are eternal awareness, not the reflected sun but the light of the real sun, light of light. Pragyanam Brahma, I am pure awareness. Adversities, problems, challenges, they come in view, but they are like clouds coming in the view of the sky. And the sky is unaffected. So I am that pure consciousness that's like the sky. giving room to all challenges, positive and negative, untouched. A vast, infinite sky. And come to the next climax. The infinite sky is same as infinite bliss, absolute ananda, joy. Every little fulfillment gives happiness. But that happiness is constantly in a state of happiness, moving from one thing to another. But now, happiness has become like the boundless ocean of joy. And you are drowned in it forever. I am Satchidananda. Ananda. 
soft chanting of Om. 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 Ram, 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 Ram. Ram, 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 Om, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om. Prayer for shower of Karuna Mayra's grace over all of you with the blessings of Shakti, Bhakti and Mukti. Om Triambakam Yajamahe. Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukmva Bandhanan Mrityor Mukshyama Mritat Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashti Dukabhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Hariyom Tatsa